In evolution, one of the things that can cause genetic change within a population is a concept called gene flow. You may have heard of genetic drift. That's when you have, within a population, you have random changes. Well, gene flow is when you have your population of organisms, and then either through migration, immigration, new people come in, or new organisms come in, bringing with them new stuff, or by immigration, exiting, you have some people leave. And that can cause some changes in the di uh, relative frequencies or percentages of genes within that population. So genetic flow, again, is the transfer alleles from one population to another through migration. Immigration, again, it's coming in. People bring in new alleles, or they perhaps a large group of people have a lot of a particular allele, and they can change the overall balance of alleles within the gene pool of the population they just joined. Versus immigration, when, emigration, sorry, when you take a group, subset of your population and remove them, they take away their genetic uh, nature, perhaps lowering or altering the frequency of the original population. Now, sometimes kids get this kind of confused with an idea that's a little bit weird, and that's called gene transfer. And that's not when members of a different population, but still the same species, leave or join you. It's when genes are, or alleles are transferred from one species to another. Now, this is not that common for you to know about, but it actually happens a lot in nature. Some of the ways that this can happen is bacteria are no notorious for this. They can take genes from other bacteria. When some bacteria die, other bacteria can take in their genes. It's really freakishly weird. Viruses are another way that you can have gene transfer because viruses can sometimes cross from one creature to the next and there's a lot of viruses like HIV, for example. A lot of viruses can insert their DNA into the host cell's DNA, and they may actually be able to transfer a gene from one host cell, from a, say, species A, into the host cell of species B. Um, plants can also do this kind of gene transfer. If Sometimes if you have hybridization, and this can happen in other kind of creatures besides simply the plants, but hybridization, when you have two species cross, sometimes you wind up adding some genes from the, new spe uh, from the old species into the new species. And so gene flow or genetic transfer, that's when it's within the same species through migration. Gene transfer is between species.